where this happened. He lied to me, Lainey. Well, Will said that his job fell through. <laughs> what job? It was private investigator. He made that up. There was no job. No real job, no, no investigating job. Tad invented that in order to get Junior and I to move to California with him. What do you think? Because he, he wants to get away from Uncle Palmer? No. Because he wants to control me. I'm not saying that Uncle Palmer is a saint. You know, I mean, we both know that he's not. But neither is Tad. You know, if they don't want to see each other, fine. They don't have to see each other. But I am not going to refuse to see my family simply because he doesn't want me to. Then you're angry, but everything's okay. Huh. That's good. Well, when Will told me that you were moving in here, it sounded as though you left Tad for good. He is leaving me. He is the one that's going to California. He can't. No. No. He looked me right in the eye and said that's what he was going to do. No way I'm taking you to the airport. No, no, wait a minute. If you're going to start this argument all over again, I'll just call a cab, all right? Fine. I'll do it. No, I'll do fine, it. I'm fine with me. You, you, you want to walk out on your wife and kid? You go right ahead. That's fine you with me. You can't walk out on something that's already over. But, Tad, you're married till death do you part. Do you understand that? Well, we are parted, Joseph. Do you understand that? Parted. And when the choice comes down to either death or California, you can call me what you will, but California, here I come. Uh, it's what I call a thousand points of light. Well, it's yours. <sighs> All you've got to promise to do is swear never to tell Emily Ann you're her father. Imagine how many tons of pressure it takes to make a diamond this big. <laughs> oh, you suppose if I'm really a naughty boy this year, Santa will bring me one of these for Christmas? It's all I got, Billy Clyde. You said you wanted it. Oh, indeed. I want a lot of things. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, one minute you're in love, and the whole family is together, sending you off, and then the next minute, Lainey, Lainey, when I think of that party, I mean, I just want to die. He stood there, looking at all of you while you were congratulating him, wishing him well on this job that doesn't exist, and he didn't say, boo. The man is just a stone-cold liar. Yeah, good reason. Good reason? Do you remember what Mama says about good reason? A lie is a lie till the day you die. Look, Dixie, Tad is protecting your marriage. Oh, by going to California? Look, you can stop him. Dixie, go to him and tell him that you love him. He knows I love him. He's gone. If you tell him that he's all that matters to you and that your marriage is all important, I know that he's you not going to... walk all over me the rest of my life. I am not going to beg my husband not to leave me. I mean, if you show me a little respect, a little kindness, a little tenderness, the things he said to me, you cannot love somebody and use their secrets against them. I know you're hurting. And I know that you're angry, but you can't I mean, do it. I've tried everything. I've tried to think of everything. I've tried to think of a plan for us not to fight. I mean, a way that we could get together, but I can't. You want me to talk to him? No. No, if he wants to leave me. If he wants to leave me and Junior just take off for California, fine, good riddance, you know? It's a good thing I figured him out before we had a baby together. Let me talk to him. No. No. 
If he wants to go to California, fine. He can go to California. He can rot in California for all I care. No way. You're not gonna do this. You marry Dixie because you're madly in love with her, okay? You almost get yourself killed because you, you tried to get her away from Adam, and now you want to go and hop on a plane and fly out of here and forget everything? What is the matter with Look, you? Just listen, okay? For the last time, Dixie is the one that left. You understand? She's the one that took my son, she's the one that packed her bags, and she is the one that moved to Cortland Manor. Why? I don't know. What do I look like, Mr. Wizard? She was brainwashed. Look, the only thing I'm sure is that for ever since the day we got married, Palmer Cortland has been after our marriage, okay? And she's too stupid or loyal to recognize it. Besides, he knows all the buttons to push. So now, are you going to give me a ride or, or not? Does, does Dad know about this? No, we will call from that way. Well, how about, you know, if we stop by at home for a little while and wait for Mom no, and Dad to get No, we're stopping by anywhere. Shall we? Well, Send my goodbyes at the party. Well, if you, if, you, if you just talk to him for a little while, you know, maybe he There's nothing to say. Well, what about Dixie? What about Dixie? What could she say, huh? Come on. Are you gonna drive me or not? Yeah. I'm just gonna miss you, okay? Dude. <laughs> Come on. All right. Well, okay, how about this? Then? We stop by the, the hospital. We'll talk to Mom and Dad. No. We'll make one stop, but it's not going to be the hospital. Cool. You going to go talk to Dixie then? Come on, Joey. I thought you said you were going to the Glamorama. Oh, um, I was. I uh, thought I remembered seeing my ring here, so I thought... You know, I would stop here first and look. Oh, did you find it? No. Uh, so it must be at the Glamorama. Why don't oh. I meet you downstairs uh, uh, in a few minutes? Honey, at... honey, I called there looking for you. Ethel hasn't seen it. Ethel? Oh, heck, Ethel's so blind, I gotta find her eyeglasses for her when she puts them down. I didn't know she wore glasses. Oh, contacts, actually. Oh. Uh, did you check the coat room? Yes, the... yes, I did. I had the whole staff looking for it. Uh, nothing. She, well, it must be at the Glamorama. Honey, it's... honey, it's just a ring. It's my engagement yeah, ring. Yes, I know that, and it's insured. And if it doesn't turn up, I'll get you another one, a bigger one, a better one. The car, maybe it's in the car. Honey, Why don't we go honey, check? Honey, honey, will you calm down for a minute? It, the important thing is our promise to each other. Uh... You are important. The ring isn't worth worrying about. I mean that. You're the best, you know that. <laughs> and you are a nervous wreck. No, I am not. Yes, you are. You know, for the past couple of weeks, you've been wearing yourself sick. I'm fine, all right? Uh, something is bothering you. Now, I don't know what it is, but you can tell me. No, there's nothing to tell. Donna, I know you know, I know you well enough to know that something is bothering you. Now, will you please tell me? It's got to be something important, or you would have said something already. Honey, we have to be honest with each other. Okay. You're right. Uh, it's been driving me crazy, and... I'm gonna feel a lot better once you know.